asked him if he would lend him 150,000 pesetas, around 600 pounds. When he came up with the cash, Joe bought what he called his Spanish American car, an old silver Dodge Dart with a black roof. Then he headed off to Granada. In Granada, he met his friend, Jesus Arias. Look what I've bought, said Joe. Ain't she a beauty? My Spanish-American car. I've always wanted a car like this. At stoplights, remembered Jesus, he would address people. Es mi nuevo coche amigo. Te gusta? Coche espanol-americano. Joe announced that he wanted to finally visit the burial site of Federico Garcia Lorca the great surrealist and dramatist referenced in the lyrics of Spanish bonds. His adoration of Lorca's work can be explained by a simple line of the great writer. At the heart of all great art is an essential melancholy. They headed to the town of Visna, nine kilometers from Granada. Driving through the countryside, Joe dropped his guard. He told Jesus of the difficulties he was having in Madrid. I'm not having a good time, I don't know what to do, because I really love this band. I just want them to put into music the ideas I'm having. Guy Stevens did the same with The Clash and it worked. The first time we met Guy Stevens, we thought he was crazy. Look what happened. I feel like the poor Guy Stevens of 091. The road along which they were driving was that on which Lorca had been taken to his execution. This information shocked Joe. I can't believe that. This landscape is the last thing as I saw. Jesus had to dissuade Joe from buying shovels to dig for Lorca's remains. Along with 2,000 other death squad victims, the writer had been dumped into the ground without a commemorative marker. His final burial place was close to a pair of olive trees. When they reached the bald terrain on which Lorca was murdered, Joe immediately felt the intensity of the setting, as well as its characteristic sombre mood. I can hear them, Joe suddenly whispered. I can hear the screams of the dead. He stepped over to the olive trees, sat down, and remained in silence. When I turned back to Joe, said Jesus, he was silently crying his face full of tears while he made a joint. I promised myself, said Joe, that if someday I visited Lorca's grave, I would smoke a joint in his honor. When I was writing Spanish bombs on a plane, I made that promise. This is for you, Federico, he said, lighting the joint and saluting the sky. The next morning, Joe climbed into his Spanish-American car and drove for four hours straight to the studio in Madrid, offering the record company money out of his own pocket for further recording time, which was rejected. As soon as his work was completed, he flew back to London. The record company remixed the record, Mas de Cien Lobos, More Than a Hundred Wolves, losing Joe's effects and idiosyncrasies. Joe Strummer was not having a good time in recording studios, in 1985. Thank you. This Woo! film's great.